yeah, let's get started cutting out some of our adhesive vinyl. So before I can even begin with the actual cutting part, what we're going to need to do, and as I put my camera on the tripod here, what we're going to need to do first and foremost is find a design that we like. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to be using this silver sheet first. Okay. And I'm going to be transferring a design. I haven't decided what design I want yet to this mug. Um, and in order to do that, we need to cut it out using our Cricut machine and design software. Um, and then weed it out. We have some weeding tools here. Super useful for getting all these fine details um, weeded out and then just removing the excess vinyl. So let's find a new um, project to make. So what I'm going to do here, this is going to be a little difficult to see, so I'll try and do it quickly. But I'm going to look for a design on Cricut uh, Design Space. And I'm going to go to free up here. I know it's hard to see um, so that I don't have to pay any money to find a design. And we're looking at images. And I want something, keeping in mind, I want something kind of small. And it's going to be silver to cut out on this mug. So I'm going to just look through some of these. I'm actually going to type here, search animals. And that way, it'll bring up a list of animals that I can uh, cut out. Usually some of these are kind of cool. Ooh, we could do this. It might be a little difficult to weed for doing a silver bee and putting it on here. That could be cool. Let's just see quickly what else is available. A cat, a crow, a unicorn. Um, yeah, let's go with the unicorn. Let me just quickly see if there's anything else. Yeah, let's go ahead and select the unicorn and then insert the image. And there we go. So we're going to cut out a, a silver unicorn, even though it shows it black here. But I'm going to actually cut it out as silver. Make it a little bit smaller, just so it can fit on this tumbler. And maybe just adjust it. So it's saying about three inches. Three inches. Uh, and if you're kind of like trying to get a judgment for, okay, well, how big is three inches? Well, your cutting mat has individual inch squares. Um, so three inches would be that wide, which is, mm, yeah, that's pretty good. I think we'll go with that. Okay. So I'm going to hit make it up in the top right. And we're designing our cut out vinyl. And this looks pretty good. And we're actually not using a 12 inch by 12 inch sheet. I'm going to adjust that just because I like to be to make sure it's working. Uh, even though with the Royal Elements Adhesive Vinyl, you will get 12 inch by 12 inch sheets. That is what it, your uh, variety vinyl pack will come with. Okay, so now it's telling the computer and uh, I see the little blinking symbol from Cricut there. And now we need to load our vinyl sheet into um, our Cricut machine. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly place this down uh, right here, smooth it out a little bit, and then we will be good to go. So I'm going to take this cutting mat, load it in, load it in there, and then I'm, I'm going to hit this button, which is going to, oh, didn't actually do it. It's supposed to load the cutting mat in, so I'm going to actually, sometimes I have to actually keep it and hold it in there so that way the cutting mat grips onto these rubber mats and loads into the Cricut so that the Cricut can work on the project. All right, so now it's loaded. We have our design all designed up and we're going to hit the little Cricut button. And now it's gonna process and prepare and go straight to cutting out that really cool unicorn design that we just had. All right, so this is actually on the slow version of cutting. I could have pressed um, 
uh, it could have cut twice as fast, but sometimes cutting slower I think is a little more accurate and less prone to make errors um, in the cutting process, but as you can see we have a little percentage meter there and it's cut 100% and then it's saying it's done and what we'll do is we'll hit this button and it will eject our cutting mat. Alright so that's actually it for the cutting portion. I'm just going to go ahead and close this and now that we have it cut out it's going to be kind of hard to see. You can sort of see where that unicorn was cut out um, using our Cricut machine and there's a fine point blade down in here and that is what actually did the cutting portion so now once you cut it out what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna weed the vinyl so if you aren't familiar with that term it just means all this extra vinyl that we don't want we're gonna peel it away and I'm gonna use this little uh, weeding tool. I like this little hook. There's a bunch of different tools you can get. You can get tweezers. Never really use these. You can use a scraper uh, in case you want to scrape off vinyl from somewhere. But I usually just stick to this little, I don't know what you call it, a hook, a needling tool. Um, but yeah, so we're going to actually weed this vinyl now. So what I'm going to do is carefully peel up some of these corners. Let me actually get a little better camera angle for you guys. Maybe this is good. Okay, kind of just doing this on the fly. But I'm going to remove all of this extra vinyl. And we'll see how this looks. So that's why I kind of opted for eh, this unicorn design isn't that difficult but you kind of have to go slow and steady. And I'm just gonna remove just the rest of this. I know it's kind of wasteful, uh, but just for this demonstration, I would definitely recommend uh, cutting out an entire sheet. But if you don't want to, or just for this demonstration, I'm actually just gonna cut out this little bit and I'm slowly gonna have to weed. So I see the unicorn has an eye. I had to weed out and it's kind of getting stuck. This is my favorite part actually. Uh, the designing's quick and easy, the cutting's quick and easy, but the weeding is actually the part where you feel like you're, you're working on a cool little craft and you're making something from scratch. Uh, and I just have to kind of weed out some of these extra bits of the main and I think that is it just this last piece you gotta be careful using this needling tool uh, sometimes you can scratch your vinyl and then yeah this looks fine but sometimes you'll scratch the vinyl and then it'll actually kind of look nasty um, when you go to transfer it so there we are, we did the vinyl, cut it out, and now what we have to do is use some transfer tape to transfer this image onto a tumbler. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is take a pair of scissors and uh, take this transfer tape and just cut out roughly the size of this image with the transfer tape and it looks like it's about three and a half inches so I'll do four inches by maybe maybe another four inches and then that will allow us so this transfer tape I should probably highlight that right now this is what we're using and it's medium tack meaning um, the adhesive stickiness on the back of this is not as strong as the adhesive on the back of this and that's actually what you want because once you go to transfer um, your design you're going to want the transfer tape 
and it's clear by the way which is really useful for actually seeing and aligning your grid with one inch alignment grids um, so the medium tack on the back of this and the actually the strong tack on this so we have our vinyl and stuck onto our transfer tape and the, the adhesive is on the back side so this both this is a sticky side and this is a sticky side this is not there's no stickiness on this side but all we have to do is take this find a place on our mug to put it lay it on there and then you can squeegee it or you can just um, rub your fingers on it either or I'm just going to use a squeegee just to make sure it's stuck on there really well and like I said this transfer tape is medium tack so it's actually going to be removed but this cool cutout unicorn is going to stay okay so we take that we peel it off and look what we have ta-da our transfer design from start to finish and how long did that take I don't know less than the amount of time that I've been live and I'm actually going kind of slow because I'm talking so 10 minutes 15 minutes and you can make a cool custom design there we go look at that so it's all weeded out no scratches on it it's permanent so um, oh, let me actually switch over right there so it's permanent uh, adhesive but the nice thing is the glue is water based so if you do end up wanting to take it off um, you won't have any kind of goo stick on it you won't have any goo kind of stay on your tumbler which is nice and then I'm just actually reusing this uh, transfer tape because it is totally reusable after about you probably want to get a new piece after three or five transfers because kind of dirt like you see there tends to be attracted to the sticky side of it but that's it nice little transfer all right very cool so like I said guys um, we have a variety pack of adhesive vinyl available on Amazon uh, it comes in 20 different colors uh, so it actually comes in 23 sheets of glossy uh, vinyl so this is glossy right it has a little bit of a reflective surface uh, and they're actually 12 inch by 12 inch sheets these uh, tester sheets that we have are a bit smaller so it comes in glossy and uh, matte so I th this is a matte color um, and we do have lilac available uh, so definitely go ahead and check that out it's available on Amazon right now if you just type in um, Royal Elements uh, adhesive vinyl and find that on Amazon super good value um, you'll get a ton of sheets you'll actually get 45 sheets plus you'll get five transfer tape sheets 12 inch by 12 inch so um, uh, you won't even need to go out and buy an extra roll of transfer tape but if you wanted to pick up a roll really quickly um, 30 feet will last you forever and that's a good deal to have so that's it basically the whole process start to finish in you know 20 minutes 